The Todd Shapiro Show. Time to hit the button. On Canada Talks, Sirius XM 167. Well, for about five years now, but four years really with the Todd Shapiro Show and, and our great listeners and great support, including some staff and former staff and friends and family, uh, we've been heavily involved in the Scotiabank Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer, and year after year after year after year now, it is something that I'm so excited for and so grateful for the fact that we personally get so much support all for the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation as our team has raised collectively over those years over $100,000, and then we get into the millions and millions and millions that's been raised for the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation, as I say, from all of you and all of those who enter teams at teamuptoconquercancer.ca. And then we get to meet amazing people who are involved. And one of the next guests on our show is, is not only involved, but heavily involved and 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 works tire, tirelessly, I can't even say that word, tirelessly with that foundation and with the Scotiabank Road to Hockey to Conquer Cancer. And we welcome him back to the program. It's been far too long. Please welcome Kevin Shea. Hey, Kev. Hey, Todd, how are you? Man, I'm I'm good because I got off a sweet introduction there. <laughs> well, did you ever? You know, I'm just hearing about cryptocurrency and and uh, and and uh, products for men and all these things. And geez, I thought, how do I follow that up? But I figured, you know, Todd is always entertaining, and we'll just do what we do, and we'll make it entertaining on our own. Well, we always do, and, and you know, beyond the entertaining, we're real, we're genuine, and, and we get to learn uh, from you and about giving back and and helping out and. Uh, one of the first questions I always ask about the Scotia Bank Road Hockey to, to, uh, for Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer is is about you know the exp- how do you Kevin and you've done this before but how do you how would you refresh us in telling us about just the experience of that day on September 28th this year at Woodbine what that's like for people Yeah it's so hard to describe because you know, I can certainly do it and, and paint a picture in words, but until you're actually on site that day, you really don't get the full emotional feeling of uh, the sensational day that is. It's really fun, but you really get the reason, the idea behind why it's important for us to get together on September 28th, too. So, so I mean, each, each of the teams that registers, and we'll have in the area of 160 teams again this year, which is just extraordinary, including your great, great team. We'll uh, get together, play four games through the course of the day, and in between, you know, great food and beverages and live music, uh, massage therapy for the participants, yeah. <laughs> and uh, interactive games. It's just a, a great day to get together with your pals and, and, uh, and live hockey, just like we used to when we were kids playing on the street. Yeah, there's no question that it, it does bring back some sort of form of youthfulness in all of us, but also... Uh, um, the big one really is perspective, right? You know, you're, it's a fun day. We're all out there. We're all, we you know, get competitive. Don't get me wrong. These games can get, can, you know, they can get, people want to win. Uh, even though the, really the only thing that you, we all win at is, is giving back this money for, for cancer uh, research and, and for cancer, uh, you know, uh, people who are suffering from cancer to help them right now. Um, and, and you see a taste of that. Uh, you know, you get, you get some, I always say this part of it's hard for me to explain too, Kev, but where you're having so much fun and you know you're giving back, but then you see people who are sort of suffering, but every, it's still joyous. There's that combination of everyone's just in, 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 in there's, there's these sad moments but you're joyous because you know you're helping out. Um, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means so much. I mean, the reason I'm involved, period, is because I lost my dad to cancer many years ago, and I just know that there have been so many advancements in cancer care and cancer treatment since, and, and the research has gone on that, who knows, could they have extended his life? Could It's so tough to say, but, but that was a long time ago. That's why I got involved. But you see people out there, and, and you find survivors, for example, who you know, have yellow tape on their sticks, or you hear the opening ceremonies where there's always a survivor who tells the story of, why they're still surviving to this day because of the research at the Princess Margaret. And, and that's when it really, really is driven home that you realize that, hey, we're here having a riot and so much fun. And yeah, you're right. We do want to win, but we win in a different way because of this. And through the, the last eight years, this will be year nine for us. And through the first eight years, we've raised over $20 million for cancer research at the Princess Margaret. So, so it's win in so many different ways, as you articulated, Todd. It's really a res- really special day. 
And uh, there's a lot of little exciting things already going on uh, if you sign up a team at teamuptoconquercancer.ca, which we highly implore you to do, where you try and get 10 or 12 people together uh, with that $10,000 sort of benchmark to raise, which is really only 800 to to 1000 each if you think of it that way, which should surely be no no effort whatsoever. People always want to give back and help out. But uh, there's something going on with the, the, the playoff payoff. What's, what's that about? Well, there's there's promotions that go on through the entire time that uh, that we lead up to the event here on September 28th. So there's a chance for for teams to win great prizes, great opportunities, experiences, and things of that sort. And the playoff payoff is one of those as well. So it's a great opportunity for registering a, a team and raising just a, a finite number of of, uh, of money at this point to qualify for some great prizes too. So there's that. There's there's different things as we move forward. Uh, the excitement of the celebrity who will be involved in the event as well. There's just so many things that lead up to us uh, in September. So really looking forward to it. Well, Kevin Shea, that's a big part of it. And, and you're really, you're a massive part of that as well, which is bringing in these big name celebrities. And, you know, you think about last year, even, you know, Doug Gilmore and Nick Antropov, uh, just, just crazy, Brian Burrard, like crazy big idols, really, hockey idols of so many of any age. Um, and then there's the celebrity draft for the earliest sort of biggest fundraisers. You get an opportunity to pick these great celebrities to play on your team. And they do, they play and they play very hard. Many of them. Um, can you, can you sort of hint as to who might be coming by for the Scotiabank road hockey to conquer cancer this year? Sure. I mean, we're in the early stages of, of the enlistment and, and it's a long ways off. So a lot of people can't really commit because they've got maybe a TV commitment or they're coaching their, their uh, son or daughter's team or whatever. But we'll have uh, Glenn Healy and Nick Kip- Kiprios back as our, uh, as our hosts for the event. So they're always a lot of fun together. But they also drive through the point of what we're having uh, having during the day as well. Matthew Barnaby will be there. Um, let me see here. John Scott, who was the MVP of the All-Star Game a couple of years ago. And you sure can pick him out because he stands about – a foot above all the rest of us, mm. except for you, Todd. Geez. Um, let me see here. We've got uh, oh, Geraldine Heaney, who's in the Hockey Hall of Fame, Chris Neal and Chris Nyland, two of the tough guys who just have the biggest hearts you could ever imagine. Uh, Carlo Koliakovo from uh, from the radio station. Oh, you can see at TSN. I, do, I okay. used to do a lot of stuff there at TSN 10. I'm not like that, did I? Don't, I when it comes to okay, charity, I, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know that's respect for you. But no, Carlo's an amazing, and you know, He's Carlo, Carlo is, is, is a great personality going through some, some stuff of his own right now. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Um, with his, with his, uh, little one, I believe has l- yeah. leukemia, I think, or right. Actually, yeah, battling cancer, but yeah. You know, it's, uh, again, because of the research that goes on at places like the Princess Margaret, childhood leukemia is one of those cancers that is has a very, very strong success rate. So we can only say our prayers and hope for good things for uh, for Carlo's family as well. But, it's again, it's because of the research that goes on. Um, we've got Rick Vi, former captain of the Leafs, 50-goal scorer on three wow. occasions. Uh, Mike Zygamanis, who's been in and around the media and, and the hockey world for quite some time. Tara Sloan. From uh, from TV and, and certainly from uh, her music career as well. So you know Lou Francis Getty. We've got a bunch of guys here who are just going to have a lot of fun and make it great, and many more to be added as time goes on as well. Our our asks are out there, and uh, we reel them in as quickly as we can. I, I think you know one of the nice things, Todd, if you don't mind, is is that you know if we can get people to come out to the event, if we can get the celebrities to come out and and help out, and, and everybody likes to give back, but they get asked for so much. But once they come once. The ask is very easy in, in subsequent years because it's a really well organized event. It's a fun event, but it's also a really important event too. Yeah, and that's a perfect way really to sum it up. Uh, team up to conquer cancer. ca is where you can go and and go and sign up your own team. And we always say, you know, if you can go to your family members, go to your friends, go to your corporation, go to your go to your boss, or maybe you are the boss. And what a nice team building uh, experience also for companies and and you know a startup and getting people together outside of the office and instead of sort of spending money to go and do something like that uh, why not just raise money to go and do something like that so really really so many different benefits and again of course all for the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation and and personally Kevin for me it's such a it's such a privilege to be an honorary chair for the Road Hockey to Conquer Cancer and we love the fact that you'll jump on here with us and and help try and encourage people to donate as well we really appreciate your time I'm Amen.
Well, and we really appreciate you. I mean, what you've contributed to this event, both both in hosting the draft party, uh, getting a team together, raising a ton of money, as we mentioned earlier on as well, uh, just having so much fun. And this is how many years for you now? Four or five years? Yeah, we'll be doing five years with the Todd Shapiro Show, and there was a sort of a prior year that died, came, and you reached out to me the first time. Yes, absolutely. Um, which, you know, I'm very grateful for because, of course, I would have never been a part of it if, if you hadn't. Um, so, yeah, really, so this will sort of be my sixth, but my fifth, um, with this team, and, and a big uh, shout-out to another honorary chair, which is uh, Patrick Keeley, who's such a big part of our team as well. And he's such a great guy. Another quick aside, we have a celebrity game. At, you know, we, t- we have our celebrities playing against the top fundraisers, some of the top fundraisers, and, and you're always a big part of that, and, and so much fun to see you, you know, playing – wing against you know with guys like daryl sittler or <laughs> or brian berard or whoever it happens to be at that time playing against the fundraisers and people get a real kick out of that as well so there's so many facets to this great great day and again it's a really important day and thank you and all of your listeners and all of our friends and family who are involved with this for uh, helping out this wonderful event uh, well kevin we uh we always love uh, when you pop on the show and feel free to do so before september 28th that's where it's all going down at woodbine racetrack the scotia bank road hockey to conquer cancer and please go to team up to conquer cancer.ca and uh, try and get in uh, team quickly for that playoff uh, payoff promotion uh, where you're entered into a grand prize uh, during this period uh, thank you my friend and I look forward to having you on before before the big date and uh, still a few months out obviously but uh, man it's 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 such a nice uh, sort of wrap up of summer isn't it well, it is. It's exactly it. We'll get some of the celebrities to come on with you over the next little while as well. And Beauty. Look forward to talking to you and, and certainly to seeing you in September, if not before. Kevin Shea, everyone. Thank you again. Thank you, Todd. Great. At Kevin Shea Hockey. This is the Todd Shapiro Show on Canada Talks, Sirius XM 167.